Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Kingdom of Manitoba. Um, I'm your host, Mr. Moklever, and thank you once again to the devs for giving me early access to the 5.0 update, Ashes to Embers, which will be released on February 28th, 2024. But regardless, we're still playing as Yif Leaf Yorkton, Sword of the North, and we've got Dominance at Sea to talk about, as well as a couple more focuses, because I think I did one as well off screen as two. Wealthy counts, and investors from across the kingdom have taken note of our efforts to overhaul Dauphin, having supplied the royal treasury with generous loans to kickstart mass scale naval production efforts once more. Combined with the funds we have already allocated to the program behind the scenes, this will enable us to expand our fair lake faring capabilities to levels never before seen in the history of the kingdom. Did I do this one to expand the royal harbors? No. Our initial efforts to overhaul Dauphin have among other things, equipped us with the foundations to further expand the boundaries of the royal port for a relatively cheap price. I approve the plans on the very day they were put before me. Every dockyard we put, uh, we build puts us one step closer to securing our homeland. Restore the horse of Weyburn, which I think I read last time, maybe. The Weyburn line once held dominant, held domain over a key settlement within the former Duchy of Warwick, and remains staunchly loyal to the kingdom in the midst of the Metis Rebellion. The loyalty shall be at last rewarded. The Archangel shall finally be able to return home. As you can see here, we might be getting ready for a little struggle here against America, Canada. We've got about 30 days left for that, which is not too bad. We are a gigantic nation now. Auto injectors, yummy, yummy, yummy. We're gonna do that. What do we have here? We have 3,300 manpower. It's not bad. Send us some manual prospectors. This is not bad either. Um, honestly, we still need. We can still use more men. Uh, over here, not too bad. Don't need any of that. So. After that, the future of Regina, the capital of the illegitimate Meta's government, has fallen. Winnipeg, or winning the war, was not quite the challenge I envisioned. Winning the peace here will be the true test of leadership. Restoring, resettling the city. Although quickly abandoned amidst a chaos brought on by the Manifest facility, Hudson Bay City still holds the remnants of some of the kingdom's most developed trade and commercial infrastructures. As soon as the word of the night's successes and exploits reached the capital, hundreds of subjects caught the scent, caught the scent of opportunity and made for the ruins of the settlement in search of fortune. In the Grand Land Clearing, with Brandon garnering something of a hub status in recent years, as surroundings have either faced neglect or been relegated to tacky sites for bored and wealthy tourists. The region is well overdue for some targeted development, something we are all well equipped to provide. The restoration of the House Wayburn. For weeks, Alicante has shuffled from settlement to settlement across the crumbling lands of the Metis Congress, leading veteran knights' cohorts to crush pockets of rebellion before they could coalesce into a more dangerous fighting force. At last, he finally made it to where he wanted them all to be along. His men galloped onto the town of Weyburn, reports having recently come of in of a group of loyalists looking to flee across the border to link up with other exiles. He ordered his second in command to follow the lead while he took more care of more personal business. As he rode towards his destination, he recalled Yorkton final words to him before he set off for the campaign against the Metis Congress. Alicante, my boy, the opportunity is finally at hand for you to finally reclaim what your bloodline is owed. <clears throat> the young warrior needed not to hear another sound. His determination was already resolute. A few minutes later, he finally arrived. Under the pouring rain, there stood the remains of the ancient Weyburn Hamlet, passed down from generation to generation, uh, until the day travesty hit his family. He had been told the tales that day of the ultimate ultimatum that they had received, and of the bravery they had shown in putting their principles before their very lives, rewarded by the traitors with the fires of vengeance. After the dust had settled, only charcoal and ruins remained. Alexander waded through the rubble, making his way through the rot archway before eventually stumbling onto the remains of the once glorious fireplace situated in this atrium. A still laid atop the mantelpiece, the family coat of arms encased in a layer of thick protective glass. He smashed those scratched coverings onto the stone before slowly lifting out the cloth, clasping it against his chest. He looked around, a lot of work yet to remain to be done, but on this day the fragmented pieces of the Weyburn line uh, would finally begin to come together once again, and with it, uh, the legacy that had once brought much stability and splendor to the surrounding settlement. I shall make you proud, Father. Ooh, Cora Weyburn, nice. Fantastic. That is awesome. Cute mercs. Well, we could, but I'll save some of that money still, too. Um, do we have any upgrades for uh, General? Or should I say Field Marshal? Ooh, we have a cup of uh, coffee or two. Recover faster, hit him harder, you know, good stuff. Four to five, a little more max plan would be nice. Because after them, American at Canada. Can we do this, maybe? Would they attack us? Oh, we need to attack immediately because we have one area completely unopened. Completely exposed, I should say. Which is not ideal. So these guys will have to well, these guys will have to move pretty fast. Everyone's gonna move pretty fast uh, throughout this one. Eleanor Yorkton. Shouldn't be too bad of a war for us, but you never know. And there you go. Who do we have here? Oh, the Royal 
Company. Based on the Royal Harbour on Dolphin, the Royal Company was founded by former Manitoban sailors that wanted to partake in the kingdom's shipbuilding industry to see problems aid with Manitoban ships during the Republican War fixed. Now they stand as the main consulate or consultant agency of the kingdom when it comes to ensuring the quality of the new newly made ships. Absolutely, we have to do that one. Positively. Very nice. So after them, I guess Nebraska. But they're still fighting down there too. Can we fight at the Marshall Republic? Ooh. That's going to drag into a war that will last forever. We can go to the War of the Past Keepers if we really wanted to. Union of the Machine? We could do that one as well. Um, I'm going to send you two here. Just take Stoon. Slowly getting there. Elders will resettle the city. Because these guys are under us. I don't want to fight a nation that's still fighting another nation. Um, you guys are doing pretty well overall. I need special forces to move a little faster. That'd be nice. Gatling lasers, yes please. Very nice. Good, good, good. We're getting there. You say you're dumb, but you have enemies right in front of you. Interesting. Electrical extraction. Ah, oh, they're spreading out like a cancer. Unfortunate, I oh know. Good. There we go. Figured as much. Shove them all in. Very good. The Grand Prairie. Van Nostrum. No more than a few dozen square yards of open lake were left vacant as a flurry of ships undocked from Dolphin and made for the narrow strait into the wind of Pegosus in honor of the first Royal Naval Showcase. The exercise was key for identifying any technical faults in the latest batch of ships. More importantly, however, it sent a clear message to all the kingdom's rivals that yet resided. On the lake's eastern shores, Manitoba was back and he was here to stay. The effects of this focus shall depend on your former decisions. If the focus, decentralized fleet has been completed before any before our former national spirits will be consolidated into Centralized, well, we didn't do that one. Or rely on the Pearl City. See, the other one would have given you better uh, production cost, but this one gives you better just. Oh, wow. Fleet coordination plus 50%. Naval hit chance plus 20%. Spotting speed, naval range factor. This is way better. Way better. Cool. Done with all that. Done with all this. Uh, ship stuff still. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We have the Yorkton Arms. Look, leaders, I like, would like to get to Military Academy uh, there too, but we'll see. Um, yeah, the future of Regina. We've got to do that one next. Welcome, refugees, home. As successes over the course of our war for the Kingdom Mounted, subjects in the regions made for the capital in search of refuge from the advancing front line. With the conflict at an end and Brandon's infrastructure stretched beyond capacity, the time has come for assistance to return home. A door for all subjects. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot about the context lost. <clears throat> the war for the kingdom has claimed many lives, which lives which you cannot afford to go without at this critical juncture, but perhaps we can kill two birds with a single stone. By adopting and promoting a forgive and forget policy towards the subjects of our breakaway territories, we should be able to encourage immigration from neighboring lands to simultaneously revitalize our economy while weakening our rivals. 
Oh, that's the rebellion too, huh? But let's do Regina. I say we do Regina next. Nice. Very nice. Still headed down, but it doesn't matter at this point. Very good. Oh. Sure, why not? Got quite a few things cored. Not a ton of it, but I was slowly starting to core stuff in, like, Nebraska. So, or the Dakotas, down to Nebraska and whatnot. So, so we are almost fully done here. Nice. It's not like here. It's not worth very much. McCluskey? Sure, why not? Bismarck. I guess we did take over Bismarck, didn't we? Fire and Brimstone. Yorkton galloped ahead as soon as he spotted the trail of smoke emanating on the horizon, leaving his personal guard behind. As soon as he emerged from his clearing, he saw it. Bonfires littering every corner of Regina, the corpses of men and women alike covering every inch of the immaculate cobblestone roads, the metallic smell of blood thickening the air. Just as, just at the foot of the valley to, stood Colonel Reynolds and Colonel Daniels, two ironing members of the Fort Capel Exiles. He watched as they rounded up another batch of civilians, landing them up underneath the archway leading into the city. Reynolds was the first to spot him, my lord. There you are, we're just about to wrap up here. Yorkton walked up to him, he wanted to say something to blow up in his face, the court martialed even, and yet he could not. Uh, he had agreed to give him and his men a blank check for the exchange of support on that faithful uprising, and that the last thing he needed at the moment was a pack of roguish psychopaths on the run from the authorities this far from the capital. For a moment, he locked eyes with a uh, young man in ragged civilian clothing. He looks cold, scared, and his eyes a cry for help. Yorkton looked away. I wanted the city secured by sundown. Do I make myself clear? Reynolds cackled. But of course, sire. Just let us get on, get on with things, and we'll get that squared away for you. With that, the king made a leave. The sound of gunfire fading away as he galloped back to camp. On the night, he would not get much sleep. Okay, the court in Regina. Nice. Awesome. Things happen. A little less stability. But, you know, whatever. You do what you must. Also, what are we building here? Roads? Yeah. Figured as much. Got some air bases. See? I knew we'd need that eventually. Uh, here. That's pretty good. Lots of roads need to be built. Give it a little bit more time. We have a lot of folks still to go through, which is fantastic. I love it. The devs have done a fantastic job with this. Can't wait for everyone to explore the 5.0 up there for themselves, too. Tons of resources. Alright. Guns for Mercs, yes please. Anything else here? Investment or Academy? Oh, we could if we wanted to, but we don't really have to. Oh. Industry specialization, research speed. Cool. Sure, if you really want to make some, that's fine, whatever. Portable radios would be still be very good to make. Frag grenades, guns, maybe? No? Okay. There you go. Do what you can. Nitrogen cooling, grenade rifles, yes please. Any other planes? 102 is not enough, but whatever. Cool. Oh, and we're auto-saving. Happy February, everybody. Did they start attacking us, or do we have to attack them? They don't attack us yet. It's cool. So let's come over here. Spirit of the Army. Well, we're a monarchy. Popular officers. Give everyone guns. Night training. Mercenary assistance. Not bad. Train militias. Not bad. Military first. Interesting. Old school tactics. Uh, sure, it's been done ten times, but that just means it's tried to chew. What more could you ask for? I'm going to go with that one. I like that one. Uh, bold attack, tenacious defense, meticulous preparation, power through nepotism. It's not bad. Strategy, strategy book, know-how. Starting levels, leaders, trained XP gain. It's not much. Well, let's go with that one. Old books that hold knowledge of many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies. Yeah, that's very true. Boop. Well, we're doing very well against these guys. Boop, 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 boop. Redmonds. There you go. Of course, they're mostly robots. Shouldn't be too bad for us. 
Doing pretty well there. Uh, no undesirables. Very nice. The Royal Road. The Royal Road was a project that was originally started 50 or so years ago at the request of the Brandon family. At the time, the idea was to tie the cities of Brandon, Langenburg, Dolphin together to try and facilitate a new economic growth in the West akin to the Winnipegs, with the capital still lacking far behind the industrial heartlands. Due to the state of the Royal Coffers at the time, it took nearly two decades to raise the funds needed to start the project. Alas, the project was postponed inevitably when the War of the Republican Coalition began as the funds were quickly appropriated to be used as war funds. But now, with new hands at the wheel, it's finally time to maybe begin to complete this grand project to tie Manitoba a bit more together, which would be fantastic. And Mechanics Universalis. By promising amnesty to engineers, um, technicians, and scientists by working under the Metis Congress, we have equipped the kingdom uh, with the know-how to expand production of combat-ready robotic assets. In doing so, we shall ensure that a fl the flush of our brave sons and daughters is shielded beyond, behind layers of cold, hard steel. Um, we have your re related started Dutch idea of be absorbing and giving you a stronger reward. Intermediate robotics tech. The spark in your hand. Ooh. 1% production cost. That's not much. It's something, though. At least it's something. Hey, we got the thing down here, too. Nice. Of course. So after them, well, the MacArthur's going to kill these guys off. Oh my god. Oh, that's going to be a huge fight. Hey, you guys won. You're next. Yay. Nebraska. Kill them off. Next. We're turning into a little bit more than just Nebraska. Or, uh, Manitoba. Well, maybe a little bit, a lot more than just Manitoba. That's what I really want. Manpower still would be nice because we're still down to 3,000 some. Dog holes, yes. Here, nope. I like them. Because we will call more, call more stuff. The Forgotten City. If you've never been to Strythclea, people will forgive you for ever forgetting it. It used to be one of the kingdom's greatest cities, as it had long been abandoned by the saint, by any saint individual. But if you ever visit the location, you'll find several remains of once massive buildings in the forest. Restoration of the city has been several times con contemplated, but every time there have been more pressing matters. Maybe it's finally time to restore the Forgotten City of the Western Manitoba. Maybe. Civilian uh, workshop. 3,000 more state population. Not bad. Cool. Advanced tools. Nice. Any better planes? Sure. Actually, for these riders, do we throw dogs on them yet? Do we have dogs at all? We are making a couple doggos. Um... Oh, that would destroy what we have. Oh, no, we already are using them. Nice. Did it help a manpower at all? Not really. We need more suppression. There you go. Are we out of... Yeah, infantry armor. Makes sense. Boop. Higher. More. Please. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. That's only... There you go. That should be more than enough. For us. And for what we need. Let's do that. I guess you could start down here too. Why not? Casualties? Yes. Oh, they're almost gone. Honestly, not that much. 2300? 2, that's very little. Oh, and the force in the defense too. I love it. Darn it. Couldn't kill them off completely. Very nice. So as long as they don't navel invade us, we should be okay. Because these guys are allied, I think, through these all three of these are, so interesting. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what is this cancer? Northern Commonwealth? Wait, who's in Northern Commonwealth? The Great Cons did very well. Why did you leave it like this? Oh, Santiago. Oh, okay. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, that is absolute foul, as some might say. Oh, I know we still have one here to do too, but still. The Royal Road. Oh, we, we need to do, we're home. This won't take a while. It took an intense industrial and infrastructural shock therapy to bring the Imperial capital back to what it once was. But the resulting splendor is undeniable. Come on, what, come on. Come, Anatoba's banner flutters proudly over the storied city once more. It moves capital to the north end. Ruins of the Imperial Palace becomes uh, the Imperial Palace. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Very nice. Infantry man, yes. We're home. Because then after we do we're home, 
we can do the skies belong to us. Already we are seeing heavy improvements when it comes to battle for air supremacy. By taking use of more advanced tactics and pre-war ideas, we can easily keep our planes long in the air by using the wind and other natural elements to glide on. While this won't conserve any fuel, it really does mean our planes can get a bit longer uh, during flight operations. Right to his back. Tiny tugboat hull. Alright, very nice. Good. Med X, yes. 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 Because you can, yes. Oh, let's see. The Duchy of Absalon. Absalon open for business, huh? The Royal Road, which you read earlier. Yeah. The, what is this one? You own all surrounding states of the Abogjuntas. So we can really focus on them, too. The home of the Dukes of Brandon. Brandon is arguably the most storied city of the kingdom, having been the home of the vast majority of Manitoba's rulers since the formation of the realm. My takeover represents a massive shift away from the dynastic status quo, even more so than Gun II, and demonstrating our commitment to the well-being of the settlement and its surroundings. We have breathed new life into the economy while laying the concerns of naysayers and older loyalist rests, a city or the story. Our investments in the Dolphin have not gone unnoticed in recent weeks. <clears throat> Thousands of skilled workers and their families from across the kingdom and beyond have flocked to the city, looking for new opportunities in its newly flourishing naval industry. They shall be welcomed with open arms, and then a stroll through the sweet streets of Dolphin. I think I've earned a bit of sightseeing. In fact, this focus depends on your former decisions. If you have the related starting industry idea, I'll be absorbed and giving you a stronger reward the late night stroll. Cool. We're home. Fantastic. Better playing range. Oh, oh, we got sophisticated industry. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Happy July, everybody. Fantastic. Ooh, we're gonna need some air bases here. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And any more planes? Yes, 80. Yes. Oh, do they? Yeah, they're just off Nebraska. Look at all these guys. Oh, they attack us. Look at that. Let's read out, join them. That's fine, whatever. Oh, they're forcing the attack, too. Oh, that's a bad idea for them. It's actually a very bad idea for them. Recon, nice. Look at that. And look at this, too. Pretty good. 100%. Nice. What an absolutely dumb idea. Just destroying themselves. I love it. You know what, if they want to continue attacking me, I'm okay with that. These guys belong to us. A secret investment, or seek investment for the resettlement. A home lacking the right foundations is destined to collapse in, a, in on itself. Yes, it is. Are they done attacking us? I'd be disappointed if they were. Uh, there you go. How much money do we have now? 1100? We only get 268 every month. That's not enough. Honestly, we could probably close out of it right now. Oh, restored order to St. George. Oh, DLN all restored orders. Replace the knights on restore with a DLN, the knights prowess. More special force capacity, uh, capacity minimum. And more armor, reliability, and soft attack. Fantastic. I love it. Awesome. Wow, that's, that's, I love it. It's so good. This is a, such an awesome nation to play as. Okay, so I think they're done attacking us. It's fine. Oh, we didn't even start you guys. Darn it. How bad. Here, go there. And go there. Three, two, oh, hello. We're going to have a massive war with the Great Cons, aren't we? Go ahead, see what you can do. Should have absolute air superiority. Yeah, that's not enough damage. 150. Industry tech. Oh, I guess that was it. There you go. It's a little ahead of time, but whatever. It's fine. Investment charters. Thank you for making the time to see me, my lord. The royal advisor in charge of the Hudson Bay Company noted as he walked into the throne room, as, he, as I alluded to in my letter. We've just finished compiling the performance uh, report in your commission. I'd like to present our findings, if you please. Yorkton motioned him to proceed. 
the Royal Advisor, then flung himself into a hour-long presentation primarily consisting of dry counting and statistical analysis. Just as the King's focus was beginning to slip, however, a passing mention caught his ear. Come again, interrupted. The Royal Advisor shuffled through his papers and readjusted his spectacles. Over the past year or so, the land in and around Hudson Bay City have seen the largest net influx of migrants among their urban settlements, most employed by the company. Hope to inquire further. Uh, what of our staffing? The Royal Advisor flipped through the pages of the report. Well, or, to, truth be told, sire, we are just about capacity, even among the contractors. He glanced over to the king. I was just getting about to get to this, actually. Profits have already been steady, but at the current level of public spending, they will likely plateau. What do you propose? inquired Yorkton. The man continued. A large one off investment could help us expand operations and think new offices, not just in the city itself, but the surrounding towns too. Profits would slump for a good while to accommodate their location, but we are confident it could pay off in the long term. Yorkton scratched his chin pensively. We shall receive enough upkeep for upkeep and not once once at more. You have a blank check. Not one person in the city shall go hungry. Adapt or die, friend, has always been the way of the north. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So when can we annex you guys? We need to really annex you guys, so it's gonna take a while to get up. All the everything we need done there. So boop, 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 boop. we have enough political power to annex them, anyways, no matter what. Uh, losses: six hundred versus seven thousand. Not bad so far. Could be better. Let's see what we can do. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, here. Experience scout platoons. That's, not, that's pretty good. Fast battle plan organizers. Not bad. Rush program training. Fight for freedom. Only the strong survive. Take from the weak and give to ourselves. Take from the rich and give to ourselves. The only strong, only the strong should have everything in this world. Barricades and outposts. This one makes more sense for us. HP and whatnot. We are here to be strong. Not weak. Yeah, make some cargo planes. Totally, yeah. Make some paddle steamers. Yeah, make some tugboat hulls. Yeah, totally. This game just found nothing. What's wrong with you? Earl Grey wounded. As we have our coffee. Very nice. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's take a look-see. Actually, I can't see it on my own screen. There you go. Wow. Um, we're going to need a bigger army for that, so let's go to the Passkeepers next, I guess. Uh, Passkeepers kind of suck trying to fight sometimes. These guys have been putting up more resistance than I thought they would, but they have a bigger army than us, probably. Combined, at least. How much manpower do you have? None. Oh, there you go. None. You guys have a thousand. You guys have none. We're still again there. So way ahead of time, that's right. Battle Bages, very nice. There you go, you can make these. That's fine with me. We're like them thick. The thicker the better. Grind it out to a thousand ish. It's very nice. This is the uh, settle the countryside. Few settlers were initially compelled to venture into the deepest recesses of the woods, perhaps understandably concerned that some of the horrors brought on by Manifest still yet lingered on in the shadows. Nevertheless, promises of cheap land and generous grants proved sufficient incentive for some of our braver pilgrims. The late night stroll. The King yorked and descended from the royal carriage, which had been parked in the side alley of the city center. As he lifted his hood over his head and began making his way to the high street, he heard Weyburn call out to him. Please, sad, do make sure to return within an hour or so, and holler if you run into any trouble. He walked and waved him off. It had been hard enough to convince Al Kander to let him in and take a stroll in public and supervise him. Even then, he had agreed to go incognito. It wasn't about to validate those concerns. After moseying around through Dolphin's busy marketplace for a few minutes, Yorkton finally reached the royal port. It was a sight to behold. In just a few months, the king had turned the wharf into a little more than a decaying landing bay into a bustling shipyard, a true jewel of the kingdom. Docked next to the beautiful cobblestone streets was a seemingly endless row of everything from mighty galleys of modern state-of-the-art speedboats, and even in the dead of night, it could spot workers dashing and to and from the nearby warehouses, their bosses perhaps hoping to get ahead of their competitors on monthly quotas. Hey, out of the way, old man. A scruffy-looking worker blurted out as he brushed past Yorkton. Good, the king thought to himself. That was the kind of spunk needed to restore the might of the realm. Contented what he had witnessed that night, he began making his way back to the carriage, lightly whistling to himself. I really needed that. From sea to shining sea, naval experience gained while 20%, naval max range factor plus 33%. Oh, that's awesome. And Absalon open for business. 
The businesses are chugging and the people are eager. This is a this is all a land needs to thrive. Oh, look at that. Good. That is still absolutely disgusting. Great. Thanks a lot, great cons. Sanctum. Purebred. I like purebred. Usually whole wheat, but whatever. Better recovery rate, yes. Last read up, guys. Shave yourselves in there. Secret burger. Come on. Hurry up. You know, here's what you're gonna do. <clears throat> you're gonna hold. We're gonna auto save. Let him come back out first. Do that. Spread out. Let him come out. Let's go. The faster you do that, the faster you can spread out. And that's good enough. Okay. Go ahead, go in. Classic explosives are nice. Watch out for spies yourself. Go straight through here. Oh, the clear warm parcel. You know, let them do that. It's fine. Do that. Force it. Old world tactics. Nice. Oh, come on. You're supposed to move faster than this. Wow. This is stupid. Free war tools. If I have to re-justify, that's fine, but I don't really care about that. This is so stupid, it's not funny. Oh my god. Um, Manitoba was back. We've seized our place within the halls of history, but what is keeping us from surpassing the feats of Empire's past? Nothing to say, go ahead and spread the flag of Manitoba across the land, my children. Our story is yet to be written. The Duchy of Absalom. Every hedge had a new threat, every corner concealed a new death trap, every building had something lurking in the shadows. At last, Alexander finally returned to me one day, bruised and bloody, but with a smile beaming across his face. My lord, we have done it. The flag of the kingdom flutters across Absalom once more. And that is not all. He waved two of his men into the throne room, each dragging large sacks behind them. It would appear as though the Hudson Bay Company has been cooking their books for some time before they evacuated. The Royal Institute of Medicine. While a lot of the new flora and wildlife of the Blightwoods are both incredibly hostile and dangerous, they've also showed a lot of promise within the fields of medicine with their interesting properties. With enough resources, there's a pretty fair chance that we can make a medical breakthrough unrivaled to even those before the Great War. To help cultivate this research, we shall fund and build a new medical university in Hudson Bay City. Proxy munitions. The memories of the past may no longer linger. The horrors of manifest in the blood of woods have been put to rest, and those burdens of the memories deserve, deserve to be forever be carried by those who hold the power to stop them, should the need arise once more. But for everyone else, the time has come to start a new chapter, and that process begins by scrubbing away the perverted legacy left behind by the abominations. So from the front, if you'd like to read about this, please go ahead. We're going to get more war support, as we are at war now with the past keepers, and doing the best we can. Basic melee weaponry, we don't really need that, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Uh, let's grab this, yes please. Generally, we're doing all right. Oh, you should probably... Go ahead. Go ahead, y'all. Watch out for spies. Get some yummy suicide pills. Uh, what else we got here? Anything else we really need? Uh, trade guns for them? Yeah, why not? And then let the trade flow. By reclaiming and securing the lands of the former Duchy of Absalom, the Saskatchewan have become open to trade, or become open to us once again. It don't take long for the eager, river-faring traders to establish contact with everyone from the nomadic tribes of the far north to some of the newer settlements of Alberta. And the Royal Coffers had never looked fuller for it. Nice. Oh, well, that's good. More tra uh, captain income and uh, worse consumer goods, but better trade deal factors. Interesting. Oh, I guess done or something here? I don't think so. I really don't think you're done. There you go. And there you go, too. Ta da! Go ahead. What is all this? Call for fellow teachers? Beautiful fellow or scientists, huh? Oh, that's interesting. A free. No, it's not really free, but another building slide. Electricity is not bad. 
Um, and in their lifetime of war. From battlefield to battlefield we march. In service of king and country where the crowns will be enforced by blood and iron. From east to west the Lord's army stands without equal. Uh, merge of previous focuses. Golden Age of Warfare. Oh wow. Army XP gain, reorganization, breakthrough, win attrition, recon, division recovery, attack, and defense. Experience soldiers' losses and cold acclimatization factor. That's fantastic. The next big step. That night it felt unusually cold. To unlock Eleanor's path, you need uh, to complete all the ending duchy focuses in a lifetime of war. Uh, oh, interesting. Good. Keep it going. Automation. Very nice. Very nice. Have we anything here for vehicles? And honestly, no, not really. Take this guys with us well. Let's do a lifetime of war first. Very good. This game just found nothing disappointing. Uh, many prospectors. Salamo Creek, please. Smoke grenades, very nice. So with more manpower issues, day of infamy, not ideal, but we have them anyways. Very nice. So after that, and we're going to try to core these guys, or get these guys in. It's royal core, we're looking pretty thick, I love it. Uh, we're touching the, the legion as well. I mean, not union, we just don't, just don't have enough divisions yet. There you go. After that, I guess we'll keep pushing on this way, maybe. Um, after the pass keepers. Silex Nation, maybe? We're trying to get to the coast. Oh. Oh! Well, there goes the Civil War in the Legion. Very nice. Well, we were touching the Legion. Now we're touching at least one, maybe if not four of them. Basically, made the weaponry. Yeah, we don't need that. Keep going. We'll be fine. More than fine. Guns for Mercs. Good, good, good. The pass keepers are just a pain in the butt to fight through. Fighting through mountain territory, hills, mountains, just not very much fun. Usually, at least. Good, good, good. A lot of war, and then take to the skies with us. Out of nothing. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Give me a second here. Uh, the Royal Air Force quickly became the dominant air force in all of Canada, uh, crushing our enemies at war and ensuring every woman and child safety at peacetime. Where there was once a whole other defense, several of the youngest generations, brides and finest, have taken to the wings to keep us all safe. And we're going to get uh, in a league of their own. So, more reliability for casts, attack, worse production costs though, better air range, air accidents chance, and better, uh, better bad weather penalty. Overall, it's a major W for us. A major win. Yeah, two ways into the Silex Nation, that's pretty much it. Uh, Eleanor, there you go. Cool. For you guys, I don't know. Something like this, maybe? Good. And I'll see what we need more than this. At least go for 11. Boop, boop. Be good. Anything here? The assistance care package would be nice, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Buy weapons. Nah, we're good. Anything here we really care about? We don't really need this either. Very good. Anything here? Sure. Why not? Almost ready to go to war with them. Ooh, in the meantime, we're gonna need some air bases. Absolutely gonna need some air bases here. Cool. Ah, let the trade flow, that'd be nice. What else do we need here? Oh, we need all the Junta states. The raiders of Mercs had set up shop on the lake's shores, left behind all sorts of rickety half belt vehicles, clearly intended for cowardly hit and run tactics, typical. Nothing that cannot be a purpose for more noble ends, however, and the lessons of the rebellion. If there's one thing that are a victory over guns and crumbling regime has proven is that even Apache, tenuous, and hastily assembled coalition could pull through against a mightier opponent. It will be critical to bear in mind as we move uh, to subdue the desperate tribes and organizations hugging our borders.
Tons of cast. Nice. You go over the Silex Nation, what happens? They don't attack us? What's wrong with them? You can do that maybe? Enter's downfall, very nice. You guys. I don't think you guys can win your fighting over the river like that. Hey, just in time for another Spec Ops Division, that's good though. Good, good, good. Should be ideal. Should be okay. Let the trade flow. And we'll do a lot of this off screen too. Well, not a lot, not a lot of it, but um, I do want to do this one and save this one for the next episode, the last episode, so. The next big step, so. Oh. Okay. But I think we'll probably end it there then. Um, because we need to get the Arborg joint to end us, and we need to fight these guys too, so. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we end this campaign, and probably beat up the Great Khans and their allies, and yeah, get to the coast. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.